I'd like to show you how you plug in a solar panel to our trailers to greatly augment your battery power. Um, we have a type AC2 plugged here, simply in here, um, and there's a connector that plugs it in. If you don't have an AC2 connector on your panel, uh, there are many adapters to get to this. We always recommend using a panel with a charge controller in line between here, this one's built into the back of the panel, because if you don't have one of those, then you may overcharge your batteries. It's pretty much as simple as that. Um, portable panels come with long cords so you can put your panel in the sun. And uh, I usually camp with 80 or 100 watts. That greatly extends my battery life, but if you want more, get more. Let's talk shore power. You need shore power if you want, if you're at home or in your garage and you're charging up your batteries or using your trailer. If you're at a campground that provides electrical power, if you don't have shore power, you're using battery power or solar power. Our habitats come with a 30 amp inlet. They also come with a 30 amp pigtail. Because nothing in our habitat requires 30 amps, a pigtail is much more convenient, we think. Um, it goes straight to a 110 volt uh, outlet and you can use any um, exterior extension cord. There's, there are three connectors. One of them has a kind of key slot, so you have to find the one with the key on it. Turn it in, give it a little quarter turn, and then you connect this to make it watertight. And again, then you take your extension cord, and if you're at a campground uh, with power, there's a power post 10 feet away, that will have an outlet for this. If you're in your garage or at your house or someone else's house, you can run to wherever your power might be. Your Mantis Habitat can hold two batteries. They can be size group 24 or group 27. Um, you can use one or two batteries. It depends how much power you need off the grid. One battery is generally a weekend of use using your fridge and the lights and water pumps and stuff. Two batteries is four or five days. Solar panels extend that even further. Um, we do not sell the batteries. Your dealer supplies the batteries or you can supply your own batteries. Uh, you can spend a lot on batteries. You can spend a little on batteries. Uh, it's kind of a math game and uh, make your own decision or with the advice of us or, or your dealer. Your batteries are charged once they're installed in three different ways. They are charged when you plug your trailer into a 110 volt outlet. Then your power center here, which handles 12 volt distribution and 110 volt distribution, is intelligently charging your batteries. It uh, charges them really quickly, it maintains them, it does not overcharge them. Um, once you're out in the field using your trailer, there are two more ways your battery can be charged. One is by plugging in a solar panel, and the other is when you're attached with your seven pin connector, your car's or tow vehicle's alternator is trickle charging the battery. I've always found that if I'm driving more than two hours, it's, it's hard not to arrive with fully charged batteries, even while you're running your fridge while you're driving. I am going to show you the steps to wire one or two batteries into a Mantis. Here's the battery compartment. It's open. There are two trays in there. Once the batteries get wired up, you put them in there and they get strapped down so they don't bounce around on a, on a road. Before you start anything, you want to reach back here to the battery cutoff switch and turn it to the off position. It's already in the off position. So inside your battery compartment are two red wires and one white wire. The two reds go to the positive terminal, slip them over the terminal, attach them, take the whites to the negative, attach that, grab a wrench, give it a little tightening, Then you would hoist, pick this up, and slip it into a tray and strap it down. To set up two batteries, you want to run them, wire them in parallel for best efficiency. So we wire up the two reds that are in the compartment to the positive terminal. We take the white wire and run it to the second battery. If I've added enough clearance. And then we want to add jumpers between the batteries. So white white negative to white negative
and red positive. To red positive. I would take my wrench and tighten these down so they don't loosen up on the road, put them in each of their respective trays, strap them down, and I'm ready to go. Your habitat has a voltmeter. It's up here. Um, this is the way you check the health and power capacity of your battery or batteries. You'll note that it has different numbers at different times. When you're charging, whether it's solar power or it's attached to your seven pin connector, it'll probably be something like 13.2. If you're plugged into shore power, it'll be 13.4 or six or maybe even eight. And that's all great. When you're off the grid and you're monitoring this, um, if you're not connected to shore power or solar panel, the fully charged battery is right around 12.8. Um, most of your power range is in the 12. So between 12 and 12.8, as you get into the lower 11s, your refrigerator will start turning it off, turning itself off to conserve energy and you never want to run your batteries below 10. We have two main uh, equipment and light switch panels in our habitats um, in the Mantis. This is one of them with water pump and lights and lights. If you find that one of those things does not turn on a little red LED and your lights or water pump aren't coming, this, the fuse is located right underneath. It's a simple glass fuse you can get at any hardware store. It pulls out easily, goes back in. It's really easy to change right by the side entry door of the Mantis Habitat are your exterior lights and some interior lights so you can always turn on a light before you get inside a dark trailer. If those lights aren't working, just as on the kitchen side, there are glass fuses underneath. Really simple to replace. You can buy them at any hardware store or building store. Um, same thing, there's USB outlets and a 12 volt accessory outlet here. Fuses right underneath.